What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Money Yachi TV, man. Today is the start of a new series that I'm bringing to the channel where each week I'm going to analyze and just preview, get my predictions, look at the track list, what I expect from it, what's it selling first week. Pretty much the hottest album that's dropping on Friday. In that case, tonight, Lil Durk. Now, Lil Durk is dropping the 7220 album tonight at midnight. Highly anticipated. This is his first solo album since The Voice. And y'all know The Voice went crazy, man. So, like I said, I'm going to just review the track list. Um, I'm going to pretty much talk about what what I expect and what I hope he does on this project as well as what I think is going to sell first week. Now, I'm going to start off with this. The track list. As y'all can see, man. I'm not editing this video. It's all going to be uncut. Now, I got the track list right here. We got 17 songs, so it's looking like we already heard about four of them. We reacted to Golden Child earlier today. And uh, so, yeah. So, four of the 17 are already officially out. I know y'all been saying the joint with Gunna is out. But there's one thing that I noticed about this, though. I ain't gonna lie. The features. You know, Dirk's never really been one to have a lot of features on his projects. I say with the exception of, uh, I say, Sign to the Streets 3, which is still, to this day, my favorite Lil Durk project, man. Sign to the Streets was still the best project from Durk. Just in my opinions. All his other shit's still hard, but man, ain't nothing nothing else in Durk catalog fucking with Sign to the Streets 3. But anyway, man, so the features. You know, we got Future, we got Gunna, we got Summer Walker, and Morgan Wallen. Um, something that I'm noticing, there's no King Von feature. I feel like Either he's saving that for like a deluxe version of this album or or maybe maybe him and Vaughn got a collab album coming sometime down the line. So they're saving some songs for that. Um, I don't see Buka. That could also be saved for a deluxe. Um, YNW Melly, like the normal features that we get normally, you know, it ain't on here. But, you know, so it's going to be interesting how this is honestly going to be interesting in how it is, man. So. You know, also Lil Baby. Now I think about it, yeah, Lil Baby ain't on here either. Like I said, Deluxe. I feel like this tape low-key might just be more of just Lil Dirk trying to do his own thing, trying to tell his own story, because I know this is a very personal project for Lil Dirk. You know, it's his grandma's house address. It's where he grew up. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's going to be a very personal project for Dirk, man. So, all right, man. So, my hopes for this project, honestly, I hope Dirk bring that energy. I hope he bring that energy. Pissed me off when he released that shit, man. I'm like, yeah, Dirk back in mode. When AHA dropped, yeah, Dirk for show sure back in mode. Golden Child, oh yeah, that's validating it. We gotta get, honestly, this might just be one of Dirk's best projects ever. Because he's on a wave of momentum right now. He gotta capitalize off this shit. Because this project... It can validate his spot in the game. Like I said earlier, us core fans, man, we already know Dirk hard. We know this. But this could validate Lil Dirk in the game as being the official big dog of the game. Regardless, I mean, the project, this album's going to sell like crazy. But it's all about the quality. And I think for Dirk in this album, I want to hear some, some shit like from, from Dirk's roots type shit. You know, the, like I said, the new industry shit is cool and all when Dirk be doing that. But I want to hear like, you know, I want Dirk to kind of like get in a little time machine a little bit on this project and just give us like some good old Chicago. I ain't going to say like L's Anthem type shit, but L's Anthem type shit, if y'all know what I mean, you know, but. um, But yeah, I expect that from him. Like I said, it's a lot going on right now in the game. Dirk is definitely at the, the front center of it. And let's be honest. This project is probably going to be compared to Colors if NBA Youngboy doesn't drop tonight. Now, if Youngboy does drop tonight, it's obviously going to be compared to Youngboy's project. Colors was a mixtape, though. But Youngboy did apply pressure all throughout that mixtape. Like I said, we don't pick no sides on this channel. I tell it like it is. Dirt, you got to bring it on this project, my guy. You got to bring it. You got to bring it. I'm not saying you necessarily have to get on the track and diss Youngboy, Kwando, and all of them on every song, but bring that quality. Bring that quality, man. So, first week sales. Honestly, well, let's look back. Let's look back, man. So, just because y'all waited to, came out back in 2020. I want to say right before the summer of 2020 or so. I know it's so like 
fifty fifty six thousand first week, which is which was good for Dirk at that time. Um, then what came out after that? The Voice sold. I think the numbers for the Voice was like anywhere from ninety to ninety three thousand first week, and then the Deluxe sold like eighty seven k first week. Um, I'm not gonna count Voice to the Heroes because you know it, it was Dirk and Baby. They were expected to do the numbers that they did on that, which was like over 150 thousand or 158 k or something like that. Um, this project for sure, I do expect it to be more than the Voice. Obviously, you know Dirk's stock has gone way up. Um, I do expect this project to sell. You know, before I even say this number, and this is why I said this is why I said Dirk. This project is going to validate him as a big dog of the game because we're so caught up now on, okay, what are these people selling first week? We don't look at the quality of the music. I look at the quality of the music, but we're so caught up on what do they sell first week, which is why I wanted to put that in this video. Because let's be real. If you're not pushing, and this is an album, not a mixtape, but if you drop an album and your album does not sell over 100,000 first week, you are not a big dog in the game. Academics even said it. If you don't sell over 100,000 first week, you are not a big dog in the game. A lot of people always confuse mixtapes and albums. I'm talking about albums strictly. If your album does not sell over 100,000 first week, you are not in the topic of discussion as being a big dog. Now, with that being said, like I said, the voice, 93,000, that's great. That's great, but Dirk still had a lot to prove. This project, I feel, is gonna sell 110,000 first week. I think it's gonna sell 110k first week. That's just my that's my predictions. I feel like it's gonna be it's obviously gonna be more than the voice. You know, the whole industry is gonna be reposting it and sharing it. And I think he's gonna definitely come with the quality on this, hopefully. But I think. I think 110k minimum is is a safe bet. So 110k minimum first week I feel is what Dirk is going to sell. Um so yeah, I think I think 110k. Now I want y'all to chime in what y'all think. Y'all think he going to sell over 100k first week? Do you think it's going to be around what he sold with the voice? What do you think is going to be on this album? You think he going to go hard on this album? Think he going to do some disses, maybe some hood anthems? Let me know, man. Sound off in the comment section down below. Y'all thoughts and opinions on Dirk 7220 album that's dropping tonight. And like I said, I'm streaming the album live tonight. I'm going to do I'm gonna do Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Hopefully YouTube doesn't take down the stream, but I'll for sure be on Twitch. We're going to react to the whole album, man. Link down below in the description. Make sure y'all come through, man. So, yeah. Y'all new to the channel. Want daily reaction videos, hip-hop news, videos like this. Like I said, it's going to be a weekly thing. We're going to analyze the newest projects. Man, hit that subscribe button if you're new. To the next video, I'll see y'all then. Thank you for watching Maniachi TV. I'm out.